Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Urban Empire in Profsburg. We are trying a different tactic in this game. As far as development and class mobility. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have built a lot of schools in the last video. Really trying to get people up into the middle class, the elites. The goal here though ultimately is to be watching the students number which has been increasing pretty substantially. The goal is though, we want to see lower class Unemployment go away, the lower class sort of becomes less and less of a thing and starts becoming students. We'll always need to have some lower class people, right? If we if we, if we we work too far the other direction and we lose all of our working class and lower class people, we'll have very high quality goods but no efficiency. You need to find a balance, that's the goal. The problem is right now we're not balanced. So, we're sending more people to school and over time I am hopeful that these numbers will go up and as a result the whole city will become more stable as time goes on. Starting to lose a little bit of money here. Apparently reducing the taxes on the middle class actually hurt me a little bit more than I think I was expecting. Uh, we still have a fair bit of industrial demands. Perhaps I can capitalize on that. Can we go to the city council and try to tax the industry a little bit more? You can try. We might even succeed. Some of these parties are inclined to go with it. It's worth $131 million. Let's give it a shot. And see if quite possibly we can rake in a little bit more money and help reduce some of this industrial demand, which is still a little bit too high. Uh, as I talked about last video, I'm not going to be making any of these guys high density right, right now, not while we're still having an employment shortage. There's not enough middle class and elite people making them high density, just requires more workers that we currently do not have, and we will end up losing money on it if we do that, so... Trying not to. Uh, eventually, if I had more workers, more residences, and stuff like that, that could be worthwhile. And in fact, by raising the taxes on the industry, what we may want to do is try upgrading Edgeworth to medium density and start kind of filling this in over time. Speaking of which, how's Waltondale doing over here? Is it more or less filled out? Got a little bit of room to go, especially in the commercial areas, but it has definitely gotten there. Hackthorn has a little bit of room for improvement as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's there. It's alright. Kind of nervous about upgrading another district to medium density if we don't have the demand for it. But it's very difficult, I find, to get your residential demand up there. And I, again, I, I wish that they would communicate exactly what was necessary to make that happen. Alright, let's talk to the moderates again. This would benefit the less privileged citizens. There you go, and now they're kind of on my side. The pacifists have actually been swinging against me, shockingly enough. Not especially sure why. Let's talk to the social democrats, make sure that they're firmly on my side, and maybe they can persuade some more parties to join us, but I do think we'll win. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, almost all of the parties are swinging in my direction right now. Sexual revolution! The scientists have created a COCP, a birth control pill that when consumed prevents women from getting pregnant. Obviously a revolutionary contraceptive method that will help couples with family planning. Uh, there will be other effects as well, which ones should the city administration prepared for? The empowerment of women, social life liberalization, and moral degradation. Um, social life liberalization? Cool! Social life goes up for the adults and the youths, so does fun. The elderly and the middle-aged unfortunately lose some security, but I think that's a fair trade. I'm happy to lose a little bit of uh, security in order to gain more social life right about now. It's pretty useful. Alright, so, looks like we're gonna win. Um, I think I'm okay with voting on this now, and yes indeed we will win. Good. I was a little bit worried that I had to appeal to some more parties, but how many how many council members does the Christian Democratic Party actually have anyway? Let's see, eight. They have eight members, as opposed to let's say the Pacifists with eighteen, the Social Democrats with nine, the Moderates should be in second place with thirteen. Okay, as long as we can get the Moderates, Social Democrats, and Pacifists on our side, we should be okay. The good news is the Communists are back down to the obscurity that they should be. They didn't stay in power for very long. All right, ban contraception. Pretty much nobody is gonna be in support of this one, which is good because I'm about to hand out contraception like it's candy in order to get tons of Wheel of Life improvements, but all right. Let's upgrade the Exhibition Center. Got a few more stats for us, which is great. It's always a top priority to upgrade your institutions, by the way. The reason being, you get Wheel of Life improvements at the cost of capital in your bank, but it does not increase your monthly um, uh, operating costs, so it's always a great deal. We got some more taxes from our industry. Okay, that's pretty nice. Doop, up to back at 157,000. All right. How are we looking as far as students? Up to 3,500 now. 
and unemployment for the lower class has been steadily dropping as more and more of them are going to school. That's good. It's a very, very good sign. What else do we need to worry about, though? How are we doing as far as our traffic? Should be pretty good. 78 in Wellage still. It's not going up at all. Probably because we're not really increasing our density at all. Um, how to improve residential demand. Now that one I'm still not especially sure about. We could try placing some more parks and anything else to improve social life. I think Wheel of Life improvements will go a long way to making a residential area more attractive to live in and hopefully draw in more people that want to fill up your density. So let's take a look at, let's say, a small park. Okay, we could use a small park down here in Farnham. Let's go ahead and place one. It's pretty cheap and it's pretty effective. Why not? Hmm, would rather not tear down any important buildings. We'll place one right about here, though. Yeah, this isn't too bad. All right, confirm. And well, you know what? No, we're not going to use our personal funds. I was going to say let's use our personal funds, but... Honestly, it takes forever to get your own coffers up there, so let's not spend it unless there's an emergency. We'll hold on to it. We'll hoard our money like Scrooge McDuck. Why not? The worker wants to have an interview. We're happy to do that. The moderates aren't happy, but whatever. Modify district. Place a new park. We also could do some things to try and improve social life. Um, one thing we could do is I'm not especially thrilled with this post office right here. It could be placed a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and relocate the service, and this will cost personal funds. But if I move it over here, so we can cover this entire area, kind of like up, let's say here. Yeah, that goes a pretty long way. Costs us a little bit of prestige to demolish some buildings, 156000 Done. And what we can do now is place another post office here in the middle to kind of capture as more areas. Basically, I'm just trying to increase the area where we get more social life from our post office. That should be pretty easy to do. Can we fit it in here anywhere? Not easily. Right here? Eh. Eh. Mm. I think we'll try doing it there. Doesn't cost a ton of money. But, again, anything to improve that social life. Anything to get the wheel of life up there. Could place a swimming hall as well. Uh, there are some larger parks that are available to us. Yeah, that would be a fine thing to do. Begin the vote. We're about to finish the sexual revolution, and now we're going to pass a whole bunch of, I guess some would say, controversial policies. But let's wait until the end of the month, and we'll go over some of their effects. The Needles gig, instead of the Beatles. The Irish pop band The Needles have become a worldwide phenomenon. We're going to endorse the whole music genre, and as a result, fun and personal growth for the entire city goes up. Cool. Sexual revolution is done. So, free love means that all uh, adults are now a little bit happier. Let's first choose out some more technology, and then we'll go over what all that means. I'm going to go ahead and do mass media. Some pretty good institution stuff that'll lead toward business incubators and stuff, which can try to improve our commercial businesses. Let's go to edicts now. You can pass more than one edict at a time, by the way. Uh, has anything changed for closing down gas infrastructure? Nope, no one's in favor of that. All right. So... If we go to, first off, we could do youth on radios. Costs a little bit of money. Makes the youth a lot happier. Let's go ahead and pass that. We could pass the anti-block campaign, which most people surprisingly are not in favor of. It does improve the physical environment a lot, but... Oh well, they won't vote for it. Uh, eradicate venereal diseases. Now this would improve the security and health of the city. Costs 20000 Um, I think this is basically about, like, lover's pox and stuff. Herpes and stuff like that. Maybe even syphilis. I mean, I'm not really too sure what venereal is supposed to mean. I'm certainly no medical professional, but when they say diseases of Venus, it definitely seems to mean STDs. So, let's go ahead and propose that. I'm not sure if it's going to win, but we'll give that one a shot. And then we're going to pass free pills for all women. Oral contraception available for really shockingly cheap for really good benefits. Security, social life, fun, and health for the entire city. Honestly, this is like getting a better institution for almost free. So we're definitely going to pass that. The other thing that we could do, and this one's even more controversial, is free abortion. Regardless of personal beliefs, women will receive abortions. Um, without getting into that debate myself, one thing about in this game is it only costs 5000 at the clinics, and you get a lot of security and social life improvements for a lot of people. And we're going to go ahead and propose that all as well. Very progressive city. Shouldn't surprise any of you here. 
Um, and let's just drop that and move on, shall we? All right, so vocational schools and stuff, how are we looking? We could use a little bit more range, honestly. If we go to Wellage here, we place another vocational school. I could, I could be, I could be persuaded that this is good. Place it right here. Or right over here. Uh, right here's better. Let's go ahead and place another vocational school. Click and vote. Go. How are we doing as far as our high schools? And these have a pretty wide range, but again, it's not just about their range, it's also about their capacity. So we probably will want to place another high school right here in the middle, somewhere. Where we already have a whole bunch of services working, but it's okay. Uh, exclusion from classification as a disease, more LGBT rights, heavily, heavy metal, heavy metal? You know what I was talking about last video as far as like your, your brain, my brain like cr crossing wires in several places? This is one of those examples. Heavy metal mass. Religious students living in Farnham want to arrange a heavy metal mass in the local church. That is a mass with hymns played by a heavy metal band. That sounds awesome. Sure, sounds like fun. Social life for Farnham goes up. Cool. Sexual revolution. Dating culture has changed radically in uh, Aiden Kilgannon. It now seems fine for people to date and even have sex before marriage. Even sex outside relationships isn't frowned upon as much as before. You're quite comfortable in this new culture and feel that it will help us all in the long run. Of course you are, you frickin' hippie. <laughs> Lead by example. Urge people to focus on their own lives. The world will be happier if people end up in good relationships. Urge people to focus on their own lives. So people are less likely to vote for the moderates and more likely to vote for the pacifists. Yay, that was a good political move for me. That'll work out. I mean, we didn't get any Wheel of Life improvements, but there you go. Kinsey visit. Alfred Kinsey's research on human sexuality sparked huge interest in the U.S. a few years back. Now, Dr. Kinsey is touring Europe, both to promote his book and have a much-needed holiday. He spends a couple of days in Profsburg while passing through Sorelia, and you have a chance to meet him in person. Do we offer him refuge of, uh, fr uh, sorry, refuge free from publicity? Praise his work on improving quality of life or praise him for pushing the boundaries of research. Now, I happen to know that this is the, a pretty good option, so I'm going to pick this one up. Reason being, personal growth goes up for the entire city, optimal range for the high schools goes up, and brain power for the university goes up by 10. I love having some more brain power in, you know, good amounts, especially when it's free. That's, that's pretty nice, so... <laughs> yeah, I like, I like going through this tech a lot faster. Now, one thing I don't know, and I've, I've kind of hypothesized that this might be the case because... Um, what's, what do we just get as far as Think Tank? Hang on, sorry. Hold that thought. Think Tank. Have your city with 200 or more brain power. Nice. Um, one thing I'm wondering. Does your brain power go up? Not based on your personal growth. I mean, that's a factor, but not the big deal. Does your brain power go up in part by the number of people that are in the middle class and the elites? Like, the smarter, more educated they are, the more brain power you get? So let's say, hypothetically, I'm just going to make up some numbers, but let's say, hypothetically, an elite person would give you five brain power, middle class would give you three, working class would give you one, and lower class would give you none. Does the game actually act have, like, a proportional effect there? Because if so, then that does mean that there's a point in getting some of these higher education um, schools beyond personal growth and even just what you would think it would affect on brain power. I mean, is there a hidden mechanic as far as that? I would like to think that there's not, but who freaking knows these days? Because we've already been betrayed by the game in so many ways. I, I don't know if I can ever trust it again. Hippies. Gosh dang freaking hippies. Conservatives are increasingly concerned about society's increasing immorality. People with long hair spreading messages of free love and asking people to abandon their lust for money. The worst part is that they seem to be taking drugs to keep themselves happy. Times change and so do we. Money can't buy happiness. At least they preach love, not hate. Times change and so do we. The pacifists are happy. How do we lose goodwill with them? Your laconic answer did not please the conservatives. They fear that you did not take their worries seriously enough. The citizens feel relaxed. You refer to the... What the crud? But seriously, why do we lose goodwill with the pacifists? You would think that the pacifists would be happy. I should lose goodwill with, let's say, the Christian Democratic Party. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to say that that's a mistake in the game. No, I'm serious. And I can just say that because these days, who freaking knows? Modify district. All right, we're going to get some more stuff up. What did we do last time? I can't remember. What did we do? I think we built a vocational school, right? 
I don't know. All right, so the abortion stuff's going to be done, which is going to increase our social life and security for a lot of people. There we go. It's not going to cost me a lot of money either. Even better, free pills for all women. This one is more effective for, honestly, even cheaper. What's not to like about this? This is some freaking amazing. Eradicate venereal diseases. It looks like this one will pass. Yes, it will, though barely, by just a few votes. Okay, so good. That's going to improve health and security for the city quite a bit. And then lastly, Youths on the Radio, which again, will pass. And what do we get for this one again? Personal growth and fun for the kids. And the city spends a bit more money. But that's, that's it. Okay, any more edicts that we want to pass? We could do the city sponsor music festivals, which improves fun and social life for a time. It says that it's temporary. It doesn't really give you any indication as to when it ends, but let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, why not? And is there anything else that I want to do? Endorsing physical education, health for the students? Yes, let's propose that. And close down gas infrastructure. No, no one wants to do that either. <laughs> I'll keep trying, but I'm telling you. It's not going to freaking happen. One thing I think is interesting. The uh, support for family planning does reduce population growth, right? You would think that doing, like, free pills for all women would also reduce population growth, but it gives no indication that it actually works that way. But one would certainly have thought, right? Alright, we did say we wanted to build a post office, which I guess we did place here. Now, this one still does not have a high optimal range right now. And I suspect... Yep, a big reason for that is because we do not have enough people employed. It does not have all the people it needs. Probably middle class. That's what dictates the optimal range of your services, if they can employ the right types of people. All right, we're going to increase LGBT rights again. So that should be worth some more brain power and stuff for me. Huzzah. Also, more fun and security across the board. Good. Homosexuality no longer a disease. All right. Edicts. Doop -doop -doop. Nothing else. Okay. So what else should we do? First things first, let's double check our districts. Still looking good. In fact, it's actually getting better, shockingly enough. Uh, we haven't had any institution upgrades lately. We will once we finish mass media. That'll be okay. All right. Um, so we have a little bit of money to work with. We probably should continue placing more parks, right? Yeah, we don't have enough parks. Let's go ahead and place one up here in Smithmere. Small park. Can we fit in here? Not quite. Here? Mm, oh, that'll work. Confirm. Propose. You know what? Oh, I was about to use personal funds again, but we're not going to do it. I can't justify spending my own precious money. It's so hard to come by these days. By the way, some of our buildings have been kind of tearing down on their own and upgrading even further. You'll notice that some of these medium density districts, or buildings here, are starting to look a little bit more modern than others. This, for example. We're getting taller. Ooh, a pawn shop. Buy! Sell! Yes, those are the things that you do in the pawn shop. I'm very proud of you. Oh, anyway, how are we looking as far as Darlington? Still have quite a few low-quality goods, especially being built here in the low-density buildings, but that's okay. Surprisingly, still profitable. <laughs> All right. We could place more infrastructure, but honestly, until I can start getting some more districts up to a higher density, I'm not sure I want to prioritize that. Hmm. Residential demand is now at zero. I think the more we continue to improve this stuff, the better it's going to be. So we're still trying to modify some districts. Would love to improve our physical environment. Would love to improve our health. We have support for alternative media, council for mass media. Media companies get a sale boost, an upgrade for the radio tower, local newspapers, seatbelts, sports equipment. Let's go to the progress cloud. We're going to go for business incubators next. This unlocks the business accelerator, doubles the effect of endorsing a company. It's all right. Don't really care about it that much, though. Company growth subsidies, boosting level one and level two companies, and the Industry Support Act, an edict that raises quality of companies that gain a level. More quality. Sounds good. Also, the Technology Center provides education and security to surrounding residents. Go ahead and start researching that next. Mass media. The introduction of newspapers, radio, and television in a relatively short period of time has given birth to mass media, a means to inform and entertain masses of people in an efficient way. This proposes new challenges when it comes to preserving local identity. What action should the city administration take? Promote local culture, promote alternative culture, which is a... Um... 
uh, an edict, or focus on news, which is uh, supporting local, local, local newspapers. Now, I have found you never really want to go for the options that have an edict. You can always pass the edict yourself later. It is almost always better to go for the one that is not tied to an edict and get this benefit, even if you don't know what it is, with the anticipation that later you can pass those edicts if you want them. So by doing so, for example, we've just reduced the cost of upgrading our radio tower by 25%, and we can still pass those edicts right now, albeit a few months later than before, but really who cares, right? It's fine. Alternative media reduces the sales demand of something. Cost me a little bit of money. I think it's like newspapers or something, but we'll pass it. Support for local newspapers improves the sales demand of all commercial companies by 10% because of newspaper advertising. Yeah, that sounds good. Grab. Council for mass media. Personal growth from newspapers and stuff. Sure, sounds good. Compulsory seat belts. Increases the sales demand of car companies but improves our health and security. Sure, I like that too. Do it. Do you want to ban lobotomy? We don't have any mental health clinics. So there's really no point, but... I guess we can go ahead and propose it just on the off chance we do want it at some point. We could also pass the industry safety net. Now this cost me 25,000, but it reduces the sales demand of several different types of industries. That said, I wish I could see exactly which one they are because my concern is that some of these are old outdated industries that we don't want to protect because we want to make room for, I don't know, let's say the auto industry and stuff like that. So I'm actually not gonna pass that right now but I really wish that there weren't so many bugs and you actually could see what was going on there. Let's upgrade our radio tower. This improves the sales demand of all commercial companies again, and also improves our physical environment. So with those, this particular tech, mass media, we are going to greatly improve commercial sales. Is it gonna be enough for them to actually start getting into medium density? I don't know, probably not, but it's worth a shot. Let's go for our city-sponsored musical festivals. That should give us some nice temporary boosts. There you go, fun and social life. And also we will endorse physical education, which will improve the health of all of our students, improve their lot in life. Hopefully they can move into the middle class and stuff a little bit better. And also we'll modify the district with, I don't know, what did we do last time? Was it parks? It's probably parks. Speaking of which, let's take a look at some more parks. We don't have any parks up here, I don't think. Bill Ridge, modify. Place a small park, let's say, Right here. Confirm. Propose. Done. There we go. Still having a hard time with the physical education. Uh, sorry, physical environment, though. The Bugs. An English rock band called The Bugs has become hugely popular. It's fun and lively. I'm now more of a progressive. And the kids are having fun. Pop music is cool. Is it? I don't know. Hey, look! Residential demand is starting to go up. Good. Hopefully we start seeing more medium density stuff getting built. We could demolish some stuff and try to make way for it. Let's go ahead and do that. Make way, little houses. Make way. Please build some medium density. Hey, it worked! We're getting medium density! Yay! More people. Love it. These are kind of cool looking towers. Very colorful, aren't they? Well, that's going to house a heck of a lot more residents, including some more elite and middle class people. Speaking of which, how are we looking? 4,000 students. We're getting a lot more of them. And we are getting more elites in middle class. The population of working class has reduced from 50 down to 47. And we have significantly more students than before. So that's something I guess. Unemployment for the lower class has reduced down to only 10%. So more and more of them are becoming students. It's working. But we're still not getting quite as much social mobility as I might have hoped for. The right to stand in court. Finally! Give women the right to actually stand and face their accusers. Jeez. Business incubators. The rise of the creative class has given birth to the realization that old truths don't necessarily hold true anymore. Innovation can come from small companies as well as giant corporations. Many have observed that the smaller company's agility is often enough to counterweight their lack of know-how in other fields. To help them even more, a new type of service has been tried in different parts of the world. How should these business incubators work in your city? Focus on technological industries or creative industries. Or make them open for all sorts of companies. Now, I'm trying to remember what this one does. If you focus on, on, on these, I think that the sales demand of, let's say, the auto industry and stuff like that reduces. For this, I think it's, maybe it's medical stuff and like things that require more innovation. I'm going to open up to all sorts of companies. This reduces the sales demand for all industrial companies for, by 
Woo! Pretty good. Modify the district. <laughs> good done. Thank you. Upgrade the radio tower. Get me those sweet, sweet wheel of life improvements. And also improve those commercial buildings by 10%. <laughs> so good. Alternative media. To spout off their alternative facts and stuff. I don't know. Pass that. There we go. Okay. Cost me a little bit of money. But that makes newspapers much better. Let's go ahead and pass that. Local newspapers will again improve the commercial districts substantially. Done. Mass media. All this is going to pass easily, I think. No freaking problem. There we go. Okay. Personal growth from newspapers goes up. Compulsory seatbelts. Doop -a doop 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 doo. And that leads to better security and health for everybody. And finally, banning lobotomy. We don't even have a medical health facility, but if I did, I wouldn't want them to skewer somebody's brain. That would be terrible. All right. Anything else we care about as far as the edicts? Not right now. That I can think of. Hmm. We could do restaurant hygiene regulations, improving health from all restaurants. Let's go ahead and propose that. Close down gas infrastructure. Now, here's the thing. You can see here that the... Um, the radius is increasing. What determines that? I don't know. Still not enough that anyone would vote for it, but it's getting kind of close, isn't it? Sure as heck is. We're starting to run a little low on money, though. I'm getting a little nervous about that. Hmm. Need these Wheel of Life improvements to be better. Nightclubs. Women can go there if they want to. I don't care. Uh, let's take a look at the parks. How are we looking? Got a few in a few places. We could place another one down here in Kilbro. Could also use more over here, I suppose. Uh, we'll probably get more use, honestly, if we go to, like, Albro and we actually build, like, a full park, though. This actually gives some health as well. If I place it over, let's say, here... It's not bad, I guess. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and place you here. Propose. Quick and vote. Done. Need more institution upgrades. That's what I need right about now. Restaurant hygiene regulations. Again, this will make uh, restaurants a little less profitable, but they will improve health across the board. So that's good. We're also almost done with business incubators. Modify the district. Build the park. Parks are relatively cheap. They don't cost a ton of money. It's all right, I suppose. The other thing we could do if we really want to is start increasing the funding for post offices, churches, stuff like that. Parks wouldn't be even a bad idea. Now let's go ahead and look at that. Services funding, active funding. Regular park. If I upgrade this to max, it costs practically nothing. Right now it's 8000 a month. Sorry, 9000 a month. So for an extra $4,000, we could go from... Six physical environments and two health, to ten physical environments and three health. I mean, yeah, that, that's worth it, right? Seems worth it to me. Let's go ahead and propose this. Done. Okay, uh, business incubators is now done, technology centers are open, and we have some more edicts that we are able to pass, but let's go back to the progress cloud. Now... We could go to automation. Raises industry profits and working class unemployment. So we'll have too many working class people, which means we probably could actually expand industry a little bit more if we do this. Auto maintenance, computer controlled traffic lights, medical information database. Also an upgrade for the railroad. Alternatively, there's outsourcing, Sendai. So that's another city we could go to. Medical Science Center. Edicts that reduces healthcare running costs, but reduces their capacity. Now, when you say capacity, what does that mean? Is there actually a hospital capacity that you're not telling me about? Because I feel like I want to know that. Mobile communications. Broadcasting censorship. Full... Mobile phones. Cultural exchange. An upgrade for the university. The exchange program. Personal growth, social life from high schools and vocational schools. That's pretty good. 
Let's go for cultural exchange next. And I think I need to end this video up here. But thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment with your suggestions and subscribe if you are new. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. <laughs>